Ladies and gentlemen, a heartfelt welcome to a special conversation with Depeche Mode here at the historic Berlin Ensemble. Please let me introduce you to our host tonight. A warm welcome for author, publicist, and Chelsea fan, a dear friend of the band, Barbara Sharon. And also, two gentlemen that you may know from many moons before, Mr. Dave Gahan and Martin Gore. Chelsea fan? That was good. That changes everything. <laughs> I think my applause was bigger. It's a nice theater, <laughs> isn't it? It's beautiful. So uh, thank you all very much for coming. Um, we've just heard a teaser from the forthcoming new Depeche Mode album, and it's incredibly exciting that we're all here today. The band have just taken time out from recording in Santa Barbara to come back to Berlin, which is the home of many happy Depeche Mode memories. And then when they finish here, they're going to go back to New York to finish working on the album. I know right now you can't really talk about it too much. You can't give us too many details. But I'm sure you can give us a little hint of what's to come besides from that fabulous music we heard. Martin, do you want to kick off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're... we're uh... We're quite far into it now, the actual recording process. Um, we've got all of the tracks finished kind of for the album without them being mixed. Um, and as you can probably kind of guess from the, the title of the album, there is- We a, haven't there revealed is, that yet. Sorry? We haven't revealed oh, that Oh, you yet. haven't? <laughs> oh, okay. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay, so I can't say a word then. <laughs> How did it feel to be back in the studio? Um, we, it was really good. We, we had a really good time together sort of doing it. We started working on these songs, I mean, the writing probably a couple of um, years back. We, 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 <laughs> well, we, most, we, of the, most of the songs, I understand, were written before the, during the pandemic, so before Fletch died. And you were always planning on recording this in the summer, starting recording. Yeah, we, yeah. Um, that sort of changed a lot of things that we were doing at the time, of course, Fletch passing, but... Um, uh, yeah, so we were, Martin and I had been uh, communicating and sort of sending some things back and forth to each other. Um, you know, I'd sort of with my own few things that I had, I played very badly on a guitar and mm -hmm. sing into my iPhone and I'd send it to Martin and then he'd send it back with his beautiful angelic voice on it and lots of other bits and pieces and you know, it suddenly would become more of a song. Um, and Martin sent me a whole bunch of songs, I think at first like about six songs or something that he'd been working on. Um, so I started sort of singing them or getting you know getting do some of them we got together the first time in uh just for a couple of weeks i guess a few months ago now yeah something like middle of july i think it was yeah um, but yeah but the, the one one thing i think it's important to say is that you know all of the songs and even the album title was kind of decided before andy passed well you can say the title of the album so yeah, the the album title is Memento Mori, which um, you know means uh, remember, re remember you will die. Remember and that you must die. Or you must die. Will, will die, must die. Yeah. And um, you know, I, 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 it sounds very morbid, but I think you know it's, you can look at it very <laughs> positively as well. In that you know, live each day t t to the max. I think that's how we like to interpret it, interpret it too. And Dave, what did you think of the title when you heard it? Um, it was around sort of the same time Martin 
started to send some some of his songs. He sent me like first sort of six demos of songs that he had written, um, and we were just talking when we started to you know talk about I don't know what we felt feel of some of the songs or the direction we might want to go in. And, um, and Martin said, you know, I actually had this idea for a title, um, and I liked it immediately. Um, I just think the direct translation as well is sort of... It was something, wasn't it? It was like uh, the, you, you told me the sort of history where it was first. What was the, the first? It was it Roman times? Roman or earlier, I think. Maybe even they earlier. Used to, they used to walk behind a, an emperor or something, you know, after he'd won a, a great victory and some, somebody would walk behind him saying, Memento Mori. So sort of humble. <laughs> humble and remem a, remember that you must die. Also, you know, and, uh, it's got a new poignancy. Also, what with Andy gone? Yeah, we took on another. I Meaning. guess it, it took on a. I mean, all the songs. You know, when you once I started singing as well for me anyway in the studio, you know, at Martin's house. Um, um, yeah, of course, you as songs always do as you perform them, even over years and years songs that um, I've been singing for years, they, they always take on different forms depending on what's going on in your personal life or what's going on in the world, you know, and I'm sure it's the same for all of you too, you know, they, they represent different times and some of these songs, of course, you can't help but reflect. Um, and when we were in the studio together, you know, um, many times we would, we would joke or things would come up and of course we miss Fletch. You know, Fletch would comment on something or he would, you know, uh, you know, and those, those things, those are the things that you miss about someone when they're not there. They're things that you kind of take for granted when they are there. Um, so, yeah, I think I speak for Mark as well and say, you know, he, he was, he was really missed in the, in the process. He was there in spirit. I think so. Some of the time, you know, there was one, I got to say, I was like, just recently I was sitting uh, outside in my hotel, I had a little balcony and I was sitting sort of watching the, uh, in the morning and someone in a room near me was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I, you know, and many times I've been there before, like working at Martin's place and, and for a moment I sort of like expected to hear Fletch say, all right, Dave. <laughs> you know, because he was like in the room next door or something. But right. little things like that, you know. I'm sure Martin, it's the same for you. Yeah, I mean, because we recorded at my place mainly and then in an, another studio in LA that we've never worked in before. We'd never worked at my place um, uh, yeah. as a band. So, and because I was used to going there every day anyway to work. It didn't seem so strange. I mean, obviously it was a bit strange, but not so, as strange as it would have been if we'd have worked in studios that we worked in before. But when we came to Berlin on Saturday evening and I walked into the hotel and I saw the bar where I'm so <laughs> used to seeing Andy, like every single time we stayed I in that place. Hand. Yeah, so, you know, you, you just used to seeing him so much there. That, that really hit me. Mm. Well, one thing on this um, album that you'll all be surprised is that uh, Depeche are going to be breaking with tradition and starting their touring with a special limited run of shows in North America this spring, followed by lots of stadium shows in Europe in next summer. So you must be really excited about taking this new album on the road and going back on tour. Yeah, I mean, right now we're, you know, as Martin said, we're the focus is on finishing the record, having a finished, and uh, so this was kind of, uh, we had to sort of jump out of how we were working together to do, to do this and to talk about, and sort of, you know, of course, thinking about um, how we're gonna, you know, uh, perform some of these songs and how they will be integrated with s songs that you all know already. Um, you know, Anton Corbin, of course, is, you know, uh, already working away on, on lots of different parts of the design and photographs and ideas for... And you're playing some great yeah. venues. Madison Square Garden, London's Twickenham Stadium, the Stade de France in Paris, and the San Siro 
in Milan, so pretty exciting. Yep. I can yep. see Martin, you're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, of course it's exciting to play those places. Yeah. You know, it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a dream to play those places, isn't it? It's not until you walk on stage in those places that you, you really get to feel what that's like. I mean, right now we're not there, of course. We've been locked away in the studio, <laughs> but um, which has been great. Uh, it's been a really enjoyable process, like making this record with Martin um, and James Ford and Marta Salonyi. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one thing, Martin, that you must be really excited about is the fact that the Gunners, Arsenal, are top of the league in England. Yeah, I haven't been able to say that for quite a few <laughs> years, not, not very often. So, uh, yeah, I am very happy about that. <laughs> what just happened? Everybody just suddenly <laughs> started. I don't, there's something. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> something, something happened, I don't know. There was a change in energy. Suddenly there was an audience, you know. Yeah. It must have been Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, it was something to do with Arsenal, Mark. Yes, we were just saying before we were rudely interrupted that um, Arsenal and Martin's football team are top of the league in England. And I yeah. think, Dave, you're excited about the Knicks starting a new yeah. basketball Knicks, season. Knicks, new season, you know. Well, you've uh, got a season ticket. I'm, I'm a season ticket holder, yes. And you'll be playing their venue as well. well. Yeah, which is always, it's great to sit there watching a basketball game and then I sort of always look over at the other end and that's where I, I am over there. We'll just have to get Martin to gig at the Emirates. Yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> so I think we're going to take a couple questions from, um, from the audience. Uh, there's somebody with a mic. Merrick's got the mic. Does anybody have a question? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We we actually uh, did a few days of recording at Rick Rubin's studio, but um, Rick Rubin wasn't involved. It was, we just you know, worked in his studio. Thank he let us use his place for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else in the front? What was that? I'm sorry. You have to speak up. I guess. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, is there an idea to make Andy Fletcher tribute uh, right. during the forthcoming gigs uh, on a tour? Um, we, we've got some thoughts, and um, there's, there's certain songs uh, um, that were big favorites of Fletcher's, and we'll make something of, of one of those songs, maybe. But. We're still that that process is still uh, happening. We, you know, what we're going to be doing on stage and how we're going to do it and what, what visuals we're going to use and things. So it's nice for a surprise. Yeah, I mean he'll be there in spirit anyway, or I'm I'm sure, you know, judging us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get the mic over here? Who else is going to be in the live band, apart well, from you? Well, we've got, um, the live band is actually here tonight. We we're going to ask Christian and Pete to stand up. That's, uh, Mr. Peter Gordino and Christian Eigner. And they, they actually said that they would stand up and sing something a cappella for you. <laughs> I'm very, very handsome, they are, as well. <laughs> yeah, sing. Yeah, we're waiting. <laughs> Is that it for questions? Does this mic work? Is it working? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you all. I will have one more question. Yes, thank you. Uh, Dave, you already mentioned that things uh, change in time. Uh, what do you think nowadays we have wars in Europe, things like that? 
uh, people die, you mentioned too. What do you think, what is the impact of music in nowadays? What can you change with music in nowadays? Thank you. Martin and I were talking about this earlier, but as well, it's like um, we, get to, we get to make music and we get to play music for you. Um, hopefully bring a sense of joy and uh, togetherness, you know, um, in our own small way. Um, yeah, in a, in a world that seems to be constantly uh, in some kind of turmoil. So it sometimes feels a bit strange uh, to, to, to be able to do this um, at any time. But, you know, to be able to walk on a stage and, um, and bring some joy to a lot of people, I hope, uh, is something that I think we're, pr we're pretty proud of. Well, I think that's it for the questions, but we want to uh, thank Sorry, you. one more, please. I have a microphone. <laughs> okay, thank, <laughs> thank, sort of. thank you. Uh, uh, sorry. Have you ever uh, thought about a special unplugged uh, show? Unplugged performance, for example, during this tour? We can't really unplug because we're electronic. Band. I know. <laughs> 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 We'll try. We'll do something. Uh, we, I think we, we could try it with battery packs or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a really good point. And uh, <laughs> we wanted to thank everyone for coming. And we're going to leave you with uh, a short video uh, with all the tour dates. And you've seen them as well. Hopefully, it's going to whet your appetite. For, uh, towards uh, the, the end of album. March. The, the album's coming out towards the end of March, yes. In the spring, yeah. That's great, thank you. Thank you. Reach out, touch face.